Battle command uplink initializing. Please stand by. The dynasty have amassed an enormous army right under our noses. And as of 10 minutes ago, while the GDF council was debating whether to even respond, the dynasty have launched attacks across our western border. They've been planning this for God knows how long. Psycom, code red. Issue an immediate retreat order to all GDF units in 10 miles. Get our troops out of there. Weapons free. These tanks fire, fire back. Get our drone fleet in the air and get me a satellite pointed at this. I want to know what the hell we're dealing with. Enforcement's on their way to you. Pull that base apart. We have discovered a strange property. On a large scale, the event could be catastrophic. Get me one of these missiles, Commander. Some serious business. I just finished testing this one out to see whether or not it was worth our time. And if you're a big fan of Command and Conquer like I am, or even more Command and Conquer generals, well, this is certainly one to keep an eye on. This is Tempest Rising. And this is a game that I got an email about a couple of days ago I didn't even know existed that's coming out soon. And it seems like RTS games try to do one of three things nowadays. They try to be something along the lines of perhaps Metal War Assault Squad with a more realistic experience on a medium scale level. Uh, games also try to go for something along the lines of War Game, Red Dragon, a large grand strategy, real-time strategy game where it's massive regions, almost the entire size of massive cities. But then there's also every once in a while a game that comes around that tries to mimic the games of the past, the classics that we love, like for example, Command and Conquer Generals or maybe even Company of Heroes. And they do so and everyone's a little skeptical and then they blow everyone out of the water. Well, this certainly seems to capture all the things of the gimmick full motion video and also the cheesy voice lines and the base building, but does it with flair in a way that's not so cringe, but actually kind of cool. It almost feels like an 80s action movie so far, and I've got to say I like what I see. Now this is a game that's sometime coming soon to Steam, and at the top you'll see it'll have multiplayer and skirmish and tutorials and whatnot, and a full campaign, which by the way, this is hilarious. Yeah, GDI and Nod, anybody? In this case, it's called the Global Defense Force and the Tempest Dynasty, but yeah, that's why I say it's exactly like Command & Conquer. The first mission even has you destroying SAM sites, which is what you do first with, like, Tanya in some of the earlier missions of both Red Alert and also Command & Conquer, and uh, it's awesome. Like, you can clearly see that whoever's made this game, which, by the way, is being published by 3D Realms, the same folks who published, uh, well, it's under new ownership and changed a little bit, but these are the same folks that, back in my day when I was playing, uh, you know, Duke Nukem, in one gaming session, I'd switch right over to Command & Conquer, so it's like the best of both worlds for me. Now, we played a few other real-time strategy games on this channel that, you know, again, try to get close to this, but after I played this, I was like, no damn way. No damn way. So we're going to do a whole playthrough of this game as soon as possible. This is going to just be, a uh, unfortunately, a, a little demo. The full game is not yet released, so thanks to the devs for sending over a key. Thanks to you guys for subscribing. Thanks for leaving a like. Let me know your thoughts on this game down below. The original games, do they get close? Are they way off? What do you like? What don't you like? I'll tell you one thing. First of all, when we get into a cutscene in just a moment, I don't like the fact that they went with a... They went with a... A CGI character instead of somebody actually doing a like voice and, and visual acting. I think the cheesiness of those Command & Conquer games are a little missed, but you know, it is what it is. So without further ado, let's start the first mission for the Global Defense Forces and find out what the hell this game is all about. Apparently taking place on Earth after a nuclear war, mining something that reminds me of uh, what's going on. It, these weird, strange red crystals. Uh, you might remember a game getting a sequel like that recently. Anyway, let's go ahead and check it out, and let's begin. Commander, good of you to join us. Gotta say, your file was a pretty impressive read. I'm Colonel Fisher. You'll be reporting directly to me. We could certainly use someone with your track record. Intelligence has a situation brewing in, uh, full... Uh, in Iceland. 
We have routine tempest harvesting all over the grid, but some of the lights are going out, starting from the east coast. If you ask me, I reckon it looks deliberate. I want you to do a sweep of the area and flush out any dynasty forces you might find. Remind them that the GDF isn't to be trifled with. I'll link your control interface to the battle network. If you've got any questions, now's the time to voice them. Was he about to say the Fulda Gap? Or some sort of reference to the original games? Tell me more about the dynasty, bro. Despite what you hear in the news, the Tempest Dynasty isn't actually led by Domovoy Malkalin. You've seen his face. He's a figurehead, being puppeted around as a mascot. All because he founded the Dynasty, gave his people something to focus on in the fallout. It's PR. These days, he probably doesn't know where he is half the time. The Dynasty is actually controlled by Alex Malkalin, his son. That man's the reason the Dynasty even qualifies as a military, rather than a band of old men waving their sticks at the world because of how the war ended. They're a threat, sure, but only because they think they've got something to point. That's why we're here. Oh, so it's being run by Kane, you say? I see. What's the threat level? Technically, the threat level is negligible. To be honest, I don't like it. If it is the Dynasty, they're up to something. There's a lot of Tempest all over Iceland, and you know they're obsessed with the stuff. Why go all that way just to harass our harvesters? They've got their own irradiated zones to squabble over. Let's hope a small contingent just got a bit too big for their own boots. Watch your back out there. That's all I'm saying. So they're harvesting some sort of radioactive material like in Remnant, but like some sort of interesting it's it's, a, it's like tiberium but something else all right uh well what kind of forces are we expecting according to scopes nothing we're chasing ghosts with guns maybe it is nothing but i'll believe that when i see it take care of your units and keep your eyes sharp they're counting on you all right no further questions sir glad to hear it stand by while i patch you through and good luck I put my neck on the block to get you this position. Don't let me down. Let's see what you can do, Commander. All I'm saying is this is okay, but hire somebody to do it for real. For real. All right, anyway. So uh, <clears throat> this game seems to have a doctrine mode, too, that reminds me a bit of maybe Company of Heroes that way. Now, I'm not sure exactly how extensive that is at the moment. We can't really select it, but it does look like the game eventually will have some sort of way to possibly customize vehicles or at least read more about them in the armory. The commissary, not exactly sure how that'll work. Maybe something along the lines of the more side objectives we do in the campaign. Maybe we can spend points on uh, upgrade points for vehicles or infantry or something or buildings. And our doctrine, of course, might uh, be the difference between choosing between... Well, actually, Command and Conquer Generals had that too, didn't it? The Air Force General, the Tech General, you know, the, you could do... Uh, you know, the GLA Stealth General, that kind of thing like that. So, yeah, GLA Radar Van, y'all. All right, well, let's go ahead and deploy. Finland's neutral? <laughs> Not anymore. Tempest harvesting operations have been disrupted in this area. Dynasty interference is suspected. Retake and hold the position. Await the arrival of a mobile construction vehicle and build a base and recommence harvesting. Destroy any dynasty forces and search for signs of a nearby dynasty base. Roger that, let's deploy. Initializer. Please stand by. 
Battle control online. Reinforcements have arrived. Wow, yep. Just like the original. Damn. Aircraft certainly remind me of Command and Conquer Generals, too, how they fly around like that. They're big and clunky, beefy, thick boys. Awesome. All right, well, there's our infantry. The details on the ground look phenomenal. Differences in, uh, you know, soil types as it comes up the beach, grasses and whatnot, pointing out it's not just a white wasteland of nothingness. There's actually something here. Pretty good looking. Now, another thing to think about is how the differences between the vehicles and the infantry and the balancing are going to look and how... You know, between us and the enemy forces, what are the, you know, what are the bases going to look like? So, keep an eye out for that as we play. Oh, enemy troops. That's a dynasty guard. That's a dead dynasty guard. Field scouts. These guys feel like Navy SEALs. Almost sounds like they're firing MP5s. Oh, more enemies. Damn, we got some range. Yes, sir. Get him, boys. Paratroopers incoming. Good luck out there. Good job, boys. Wonder if there's secrets around the map. Oh, this is a drone operator. Oh, cool. What the hell? Nice, all right, cool. A little bit more range. Kind of reminds me of the Rocketeers. Right, let's put these boys into command groups. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. No way, the classic barrels. Come on over, boys. Come attack me. Yeah, sweet. Cool. Awesome. Got it. Looks like they killed some of our troops earlier. Is that something important there? No problem. All right. Spinning her up. Off we go. Got it. Right. Oil drills and stuff. Nice details. Spinning her up. We're off. Flame turret is sighted. Get back. Well, I think there is. Maybe down here. And I got an idea. How about this? Oh, yeah. That worked. <clears throat> nice. Very good. Oh, oh, not good. Explosions. Oh, bridge is out. Primary objective accomplished. Reinforcements have arrived. Hold the line, boys. Is that a Sam site? A bunch of, bunch of. Ah, oh, must have been. Now we're bringing. All right, vehicles. Something known as the Sentinel. Riot medic, ready to roll. Let's get to work. Hell yeah. Oh wow, he's like a riot shield and a medic. So he can be on the front line and like deflect shells or whatever and also heal from the back. Okay. Orders. Let's put everybody on the same thingy here. So I don't think we have to destroy any of that. What is that? A giant hand? Is that their barracks? Bro, hand of nod. No way. But yet it somehow manages to look like a Soviet building at the same time. How the hell did they do that? Good job. Hey, I respect that, man. They're, they're clearly not hiding a damn thing. I kind of am tempted to go up here and see if we can find like a secret vehicle or unit or something. Oh, this is the quote unquote Tiberium. It looks like a, a mineral, but more of an organic substance. Okay. Ah, perfect. We'll swing through for a pincer move. We got you.
Let it rip, boys. Damn, they killed some of our earlier paratroopers. Shoot stuck in the trees? Cool. Looking for like upgrade boxes or whatnot, or health boxes, but I guess not. All right, let's link up. Secondary objective accomplished. Thanks for the help, Commander. Standing by for orders. Rifle ready. Yep. Get everybody linked up. Let the medic do his job. Downed aircraft there. Commander, GDF forces collect intel as a resource. Intel is used to authorize limited countermeasures such as unit abilities and support powers. Hell yeah, brother. That music is fantastic. The Sentinel Scout Car's alternate fire mode exchanges firepower for marking rounds, generating intel when marked targets are destroyed. Oh. Ah, oh, there we are. So we have secondary objectives, okay. Or I mean uh, secondary abilities. And we have a secondary objective of the SAM sites too. Let's give this guy a try. Mark that target, bro. Guess we didn't need the barrels. Good job, boys. Give me a lot of micro in this game. A tractor. Oh, it's totally like Remnant 2, kind of. He destroyed our truck. I can't let him get away with that. Let's use attack move and push through. No more being nice. Commander, you see those barrels by that power plant? Hell yep. Yeah. like a vehicle so I believe our base is made via a drone I think enemy bases now back in the day the nod got a lot of their vehicles via airstrip they were flown in but in this case they might be large vehicles that arrive and then deploy it Enforcements have arrived. Someone order backup. Construction vehicles standing by, Commander. Oh, yeah. Let's build up that base. Let's build a freaking base, bro. I love this part. Wow, look at how dirty it looks. Nice. Primary objective accomplished. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Power plant. Can we get that hydrothermal? Constructing. Geothermal. Oh, we got some new vehicles and troops now. Oh, that's got to be where we cross next. Complete. Yep, don't go over there. New construction. Stay, Stay far on our side. Oh, we got a refinery. All right. We got uh, buildings, defenses. Man, that 
This menu on the right side is so like Red Alert 2 at the same time. That's amazing. Super cool. Glad they went with it. So it looks like we're making the building here. Even though this is the construction site, I think it's being manufactured here. It's picked up by a drone and then just dropped off. New construction options. A little weird, but okay. Wow, there's our harvester. Nice. All right, let's go with the barracks. Constructing. Not sure if we can re uh, rotate buildings. We've got a gambling turret, sandbags, concrete wall, and a concrete gate, so we can make a pretty damn significant defense. Let's send the truck out. Construction complete. Can't go any further that way. New construction options. Our barracks is ready. Satellite uplink is ready. All right, let's build a satellite uplink. Constructing. Just tips over the trees. What is your favorite line from some of the RTS games, by the way, that were your favorites? Like uh, Company of Heroes, Company of Heroes 2, uh, maybe even some of those from Command and Conquer Generals, like China must grow larger. Or, uh, you know, nothing is secret. Construction complete. Or, if a mouse farts in this minefield, I want his ass blown sky high. Hammers and nails, Commander, ladies. Come on, hammers and nails. train grenadiers from the barracks. The satellite uplink will also collect intel passively. All right, cool. Well, let's build like 20 of everybody. Can I hold the uh, ship and do five at a time? No. Nope. Uh, looks like I have to individually click. Let's just do 20 and 20. Ready. What is this last guy at the bottom? Oh, the riot medic. Nice. Well, we can build another silo, but we're pretty much spending all of our money. Enemy counterattack. On the hunt. It's the uh, anti-tank unit from Command and Conquer Generals. Nice. Oh, fall back now, fall back. Let's see if we can build some defenses just for fun. Put it right there. Oh man, they're not happy with us. Wow, look at that. All the bodies remain too from our battle. It's not just bodies from like set dressing for the kind of scenario going on. These are actual units Unit ready. that we've destroyed. Here's the flamethrower units. Damn, that's badass. It, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Foxhole in a way. Yeah, seeing all those units like that. All right, what's the range on this thing? I'm assuming down to here. All right, well, we built another uh, power plant. Let's build another Gatling turret. Constructing. Let's see if we can get them to attack us. Oh, I hope you don't attack. Oh, they're too smart for that. Alright, let's build up our forces. Construction complete. Weird. I don't know what the hell that stuff is, but it's pretty damn cool. Oh, we can only have one riot medic. Okay. Can this building do anything special for us? Unit ready. Passively generates intel over time, yeah. All right, we're still pumping out the units. Unit ready. We're going to attack with a huge swarm as soon as we're full up here. Gatling turret seems super weak. 
one soldier running across the bridge getting hit by simultaneous Gatling cannons, like basically Sea Whiz that they use on carriers. Now, come on, pal. I'm kind of tempted to attack now, but if we do, we're probably going to get clapped. I don't know what's on the other side. Take a little, sir, little, little peek. Sir, yes, sir. There's that, uh... You got it. Oh, yeah, the SAM site. Oh, okay. Moving out. Wow, look at this board. Buildings look good. Factory should be moving, though. Like, this actually should function whenever we build stuff. But, again, this is an earlier build, so a lot of this stuff's subject to change. I mean, everything else is kind of moving. Looks good. All right, last Grenadier. Those will be good against buildings, so we should be able to plow through those defenses, no problem. Unit ready. Now we need drone operator. Good against air units and vehicles. We certainly will encounter those. And anti-infantry fighter with decent Unit range. Ready. Could build another barracks. Let's see what happens if we build a second one, if it speeds things up. Constructing. That is something from uh, Command and Conquer as well, where you build multiple barracks or multiple airports or whatnot, and it would make units a lot faster. Unit ready. Insufficient funds. Construction complete. Alright, there goes the drone. Unit ready. Beautiful. Any faster? Uh, maybe. Unit ready. This unit still says nine seconds, but funds. maybe it'll speed things up. Oh, are we out of oh. The harvester just has to drive further. Well, I guess we could start our attack. Oh, we're making wine, that's all. <laughs> that's all we're doing. We're just making mom water. That's it. Unit ready. Oh, okay. I thought we were you know, dealing with some sort of a very valuable substance, but it's just um, boxed wine. Ah, oh, yeah, we're out in the vineyards. Unit ready. Okay, not a problem. Insufficient funds. Yes, got it. Well, I think we should attack, regardless of it maybe possibly being too early, but I guess we'll regret that later. All right, are we ready? Unit ready. Let's go. Roger that. Push through, boys. Secondary objective accomplished. Flame tank. Airstrike ready. Let's pick a location, Commander. Uh, where can I get my airstrike? Oh, I don't have money for it. Oh God, stay back. Spending all of our money immediately on units. Insufficient funds. So those drones were supposed to be pretty good against vehicles. It kind of was weak against the uh, one tank that we saw over on the right side. Cancelled. On hold. Cancelled. Well, let's get our big ass airstrike. We should be able to destroy these turrets. What the hell is that thing? It looks like a frying pan. The boar. With a laser on it? What the hell? All right. Reporting. Well, we were able to push all the way through. Now we just got to get through the final gate. Good thing we brought everything we did. Unfortunately, I don't see a way to make vehicles at the moment. It would be good to get some sort of a war factory. Set rally point on load. It does mention that this building does get something special. Specialist pod unlocks high impact combat units. Uh, generate small Im amount of intel over time. Okay. But this thing's going to be expensive. we got to get through this gate. 
Let's do this. I don't think we need any more infantry. Pack things up. Could make another refinery, but I think we just need to plow through that gate and then we're good. Save us a little bit of time. Maybe we'll do the same with the guns. Man, that's how you know you're desperate. All right, send in the airstrike. You need me? Oh, hell yeah. Were those F-35s? No. Oh, the flame tank first. I think we got him, boys. Well, before we destroy the HQ, let's destroy everything else. Assert dominance in the area. Hell yeah. So there power plants look like that, huh? And this is the edge of the map, so they're probably getting free reinforcements. Alright, let's finish off their construction yard. Which kind of looks like ours. And that'll do it. That's GG. Primary objective accomplished. Hell yeah! That's the last of them! Hell yeah, brother! Cool. Ooh. And the hell march going on in the background. Nice. Well, hell yeah. Uh, the developers tossed in a little trailer there at the end, and that was great. Some of those moments remind me of, like, meeting Einstein in the first uh, games and uh, some of the cutscenes and missions that you face in all the other uh, Command & Conquer games. All this, this has nothing to do with it. It's fantastic. I love it. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and let it be known that, yeah, it seems like there's a playtest for this game. Just go to Steam, and you'll just have to re request it. So just go to Tempest Rising, and you'll have to go to the actual, like, uh, like you'll have to request it yourself to enter the playtest whenever the developers allow it to uh, happen. So if you love yourself, some action strategy, real-time strategy, base building, war games, it's awesome. Happy to be a part of it. This is uh, not sponsored by any means, but, I mean... This is great. I'm really happy to see this, and I'm glad the developers, THQ Nordic, reached out uh, to mention that this is like something they've been working on. I, I love RTSs like this. I want to cover them all. I think um, you know it's not a dying genre, but a genre that needs more love and more uh, you know people need to play it. There's a lot of elements to love here uh, in terms of it almost playing like uh, you know a Diablo, but with like armies and such. And I feel like there's so many people who maybe play some more modern games that are classics that might enjoy some classic remakes. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Thanks again for all your kindness, positivity, support, and love. And let me know what you think of Tempest Rising down below. I'll see you all next time. Take care and goodbye.